this is Jasmine Miranda from BSN Level 3, Block 1. So for today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use an incentive spirometer. So first things first, what is an incentive spirometer? Incentive spirometer is a device used to provide visual reinforcement for deep breathing by the patient. It also assists the patient to breathe slowly and deeply and to sustain maximal inspiration while providing um, immediate and positive reinforcement. So before we go on to the procedure, let us first know what are the three nursing assessment in using an incentive spirometer. So first, the nurse need to assess the patient for pain and to administer pain medication if prescribed, especially if deep breathing may cause pain to the patient. Because presence of pain may interfere to the learning and performing of incentive spirometry. Second is we need to assess the patient's lung sound before and after using an incentive spirometer. Um, we need to do this in, do in order for us to know if there is an improvement or changes to the lung sound of our patient. The last one is to assess the patient vital signs and oxygen saturation to provide baseline data and to evaluate patient's response. Now for the procedure, the first thing that we need to do is to check the patient's chart if there is a precision order of incentive spirometry. Next is to identify patient using at least two identifiers, which is the patient's full name and the patient's birthday. So good morning, ma'am. My name is Josamay Miranda from Muslim University, Philippines. Your student nurse for today's shift from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. May I know your name, ma'am, please? Jumayga Mangulabnan. Miss Mangulabnan, kailan po ang birthday? June 25, 2000. Okay po. After you gather all the needed equipment, perform hand hygiene, place the patient in an appropriate position. Next is to instruct the patient to hold the incentive spirometer upright, exhale completely, and place the lips tightly around the mouthpiece. Instruct patient to take slow, deep breaths and maintain constant flow. Remove mouthpiece at point of maximal inhalation. Had patient hold breath for 3 seconds and exhale normally. Encourage the patient to independently use incentive spirometer at prescribed frequency, at least 5 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours if possible. Observe patient's ability to use incentive spirometer by return demonstration. After all the procedures, remove PPE if used, perform hand hygiene, assess response and vital signs, and document evaluation of learning and procedure. Okay. 